नमस्कार सर वेलकम टू द प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन सेकंड स्टेज लॉन्ग रेंज फोरकास्ट ऑफ मानसून आई एक्सटेंड वार्म ग्रीटिंग्स टू आवर एक्सटेंड कॉलिग्स फ्रॉम प्रेस एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया एंड अदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द अपडेट ऑन द लॉन्ग रेंज फोरकास्ट व्हिच हैज बीन इशूड ऑन 14th ऑफ अप्रैल and also we will issue some specific forecast for different homogeneous regions and the forecast for the month of june so before we proceed for the forecast uh, let me just explain you what has happened in the month of may in the month of may as predicted by us there was good amount of rainfall activity over major parts of the country especially east and northeast india peninsular india Gangetic plains, where we have got almost normal to excess rainfall activity. For the country as a whole, if we just look at uh, March to May, there has been almost normal rainfall activity. But if you consider only month of May, then it has been excess rainfall activity for the country, especially excess rainfall over. East, Northeast, and South Peninsular India. It's basically because that March and April we did not have much rainfall activity, but um, we have very good rainfall activity in the month of May. <clears throat> Now, if you just look at uh, the heavy rainfall activity in the month of May, you will find that there has been quite a good number of heavy rainfall events in Peninsular India and northeastern states. as well as uh, in the as well as coastal uh, states and the eastern coastal states if i compare the if i compare the frequency the heavy rainfall frequency i will request all my i will respected participants to please kindly mute their microphones thank you if i compare the heavy rainfall events during past 5 years we will find that the most frequent heavy rainfall event occurred in 2021 in the month of may with 758 heavy rainfall events 201 very heavy rainfall events and 42 extreme heavy rainfall events for this year the heavy rainfall events were 504 it was second to 2021 but uh, the very heavy rainfall events were quite less it was 95 and extreme heavy rainfall events Even 23, and these extreme heavy rainfall events have been mainly confined to northeastern states. As all of us know, there was um, a flooding in Assam and adjoining areas, and because of this continuous heavy rainfall activity. Now, if I compare the um, rainfall forecast what we issued for the month of uh, May and what has happened in the month of May, on the left-hand side diagram you will find that. Um, this is um, the observed rainfall for the month of may you will find that this blue is the above normal green is normal and orange is the below normal rainfall activity which has been realized on the right hand side is the forecast map what we showed that again blue is the excess that is above normal green is the normal and orange is the below normal what you find that both the figures are almost uh, Uh, reasonably identical with each other that means the major part of the country got rainfall activity as it was predicted except northwest india and northwest india was the below normal rainfall as it was um, predicted similarly if i just look at uh, the temperature forecast uh, we predicted on the right hand side is the temperature forecast issued for the month of may on the left hand side is the actual observed maximum temperature in the month of may again here also the orange indicates above normal rainfall and the green indicates normal rain uh, not rain for temperature orange indicates above normal temperature green indicates normal temperature and blue indicates uh, below normal temperature accordingly here in the right hand side also below normal means it is uh, uh, gray and blue and orange means above normal and green means normal temperature so what do you find that the maximum temperature prediction also went very well reasonably correct and as predicted northwest india was higher than normal uh, maximum temperature leading to heat wave conditions and that uh, 
continued up to about uh, 15th of May, and thereafter, because of thunderstorm activities, uh, the temperature went normal or below normal uh, in the month. Uh, similarly, if you just look at the minimum temperature in the month of uh, May, uh, we predicted uh, because warm night is uh, a point of concern for the Northwest India where heat wave condition prevails. So we also predict therefore the minimum temperature. The minimum temperature outlook which was issued is given in the right hand side here and actual minimum temperature is given on the left hand side. Here also you will find that the major part of the country which has predicted that we will have the higher than normal temperature, minimum temperature was realized. You can see that uh, many parts with orange color, orange color means it is above normal minimum temperature which was predicted like that. But also we predicted South Peninsula will have the below normal minimum temperature and same also happened if you compare both the diagrams. What I want to say that for the month of May, the forecast issued for rainfall, maximum temperature and minimum temperature were uh, uh, to a large extent, it was reasonably correct. Now coming to the progress of monsoon so far, um, the southeast monsoon has set in over Kerala on 29th May 2022. Um, against the normal date of past June. So that means three days ahead of the normal date, uh, monsoon has entered into Kerala. And um, uh, as per our forecast, the 27th May, which was on four days, therefore it could be predicted uh, well. But um, after that also it has progressed. And as of today, the monsoon has uh, progressed into some parts of coastal and south interior Karnataka and some more parts of Tamil Nadu and Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea. So, um, what we expect that the next uh, two to three days, um, uh, the southeast monsoon will uh, progress further into some more parts of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, and some parts of Konkan and Goa, and uh, northeastern states, somewhere in West Bengal and Sikkim. Bay of Bengal current is active. We are expecting that northeastern states will be covered during these next two to three days. This um, green line indicates um, the actual uh, date of. Uh, progress of the monsoon and red lines are the normal dates of progress of monsoon. <clears throat> so, so far, therefore, the peninsular India, it has been ahead of uh, the normal dates. And we are expecting also that uh, in the normal dates, around normal dates, it will cover the northeastern states. Now, coming to the forecast part, yes, as uh, all of you know that uh, IMD has adopted a new strategy from last year. Uh, as for this strategy, we are issuing the fastest forecast in April, middle of April. And this year we issued the fastest forecast on 14th of April. And we predicted that rainfall will be normal over the country and it will be 99% of the long period average. It will be uniformly distributed, except some parts of uh, Northeastern states, Northwest India and Eastern South Peninsula. That was the forecast for the first stage. And second stage is the update of that forecast, which will be issued today. Along with that, we'll issue the forecast for four homogeneous regions like Northwest India, as shown in this diagram, Northwest India, Northeast India, Central India, and the Peninsular India. Another forecast today also will issue that is the monsoon core zone. That is the area extending of extending from Gujarat and Rajasthan to up to Odisha and to West Bengal. This area is uh, mainly uh, rain-fed agriculture area because it uh, dependence on rainfall is more in this. We can't hear you. You are not audible. You are not audible. Sir. Something yeah. happened. Some network issues, sir. Can't hear you, sir. Am I audible now? Yes, yes, you are audible. Sir, you are audible, but not visible, sir. Not visible? Yeah. 
No, no. Slide is visible or not? Slide is visible. You are audible, but you are not visible. That's all. That is fine. <laughs> okay. 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 Fine. Okay. fine. So I was discussing about the different stages of forecast and today we are issuing the forecast, which is the update of the forecast issued on 14th of April. Also, we'll issue the forecast for four homogeneous regions like Northwest India, Northeast India, Central India and Peninsula India as shown in this diagram. Then also we are issuing a forecast for monsoon core zone, which is um, really the rainfed agriculture zone. That means in this area, uh, the rainfall dependence is more for the agriculture. So a special forecast is being issued. And also we'll issue today the forecast for the month of June. And similarly, afterwards in the month of, uh, for the month of July, we'll issue by end of June and August like that. So every monthly forecast we're issuing, just like we've issued from last year onwards. So today we'll issue the June forecast. Now, coming to the silent feature of the forecast, which are issuing uh, today, the Southwest monsoon seasonal rainfall June to September uh, over the country as a whole is most likely to be normal. 96 to 100 percent of long period average. Quantitatively, the monsoon seasonal rainfall over the country as a whole is likely to be 103 percent of the long period average, with a model error of plus minus 4 percent. The long period average of the seasonal rainfall over the country is 87 centimeter, based on the new normal introduced, uh, that is 1971 to 2020. So, if you remember, we have predicted earlier that it will be 99 percent, plus minus 5 percent. And now we have updated the forecast with 103% plus minus 4%. And monsoon seasonal rainfall over four homogeneous uh, uh, regions is most likely to be above normal for central India, that is greater than 106% of long period average. And south winds are also above normal, that is greater than 106% of long period average. Rainfall is most likely to be normal over northeast India, that is 96 to 106% of long period average, and northwest India, 92 to 108% of long period average. So monsoon seasonal rainfall over the monsoon core zone, that is rainfed agriculture zone, uh, is expected also to be above normal, that is more than 106% of the long period average. The last scale feature when we consider, the La Nina conditions are prevailing over equatorial Pacific Ocean, and we're expecting that La Nina condition will continue throughout the monsoon season this year. Now, at present, the neutral Indian Ocean dipole conditions are prevailing, but negative Indian Ocean dipole conditions are most probable during the monsoon season. <clears throat> now, coming to the spatial distribution of the rainfall forecast uh, of date uh, as it is issued today, so we can find out in this diagram on the left hand side that most parts of the country will have the blue color, light blue, or deep blue, or gray colors, and this indicates that above normal rainfall activity and green patches indicates normal rainfall activity and yellow and orange patches indicate the below normal, <laughs> below normal rainfall activity. So what you find from this diagram that most parts of the country will have a good uh, rainfall activity and accordingly the uniform distribution you can say well distributed rainfall activity. Uh, that means um, you will have normal to above normal rainfall seasonally over Northwest India, Central India, Northern parts of South Peninsula, and um, Northern parts of East and Northeast India. However, the below normal rainfall activity can be expected over Southern parts of Northeastern states, Southern parts of Eastern India, and East Central India, some parts of East Central India. Also, the Southwestern Peninsula, extreme Southwest Peninsula, like Kerala, you can say, so if I consider the state wise, you can find out that most of the states uh, can have normal to normal rainfall activity, except uh, you can see the Meghalaya and here the, um, uh, Mizoram, Tripura, uh, uh, Manipur, and uh, southern parts of um, Assam. Then here, Gangetic West Bengal, Odisha, Chhattisgarh will have uh, to a large extent uh, we can have the below normal probability. Similar is the case with respect to Kerala. There can be some isolated pockets over somewhere, Rajasthan and Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh. Otherwise, major part of the country will have normal to above normal rainfall activity. Now, if I just look at uh, the forecast for month of June, uh, in the month of June, uh, we are expecting the average rainfall for the country as a whole to be normal. And here, the normal is defined as 92% to 108% of the long period average. And the long period average rainfall for the country as a whole is 165.4 mm, that is based on data of 1971 to 
to 2020. Now, if I just um, look at the special distribution of rainfall, again, you find that major part of the country will have this blue or light blue or green colors. That means many parts of Northwest and Central India, Northern parts of the peninsula and some parts of Eastern India will have the normal to above normal rainfall activity. But however, when we consider Northeastern states, like say Assam, Meghalaya, and uh, Nagaland, Manipur, uh, and uh, Arunachal Pradesh, uh, South and West Bengal, and Gangetic West Bengal, Jharkhand, and uh, here southern parts of peninsula like Karnataka, Kerala, and uh, South Tamil Nadu, as well as some parts of South Rajasthan and southern parts of Madhya Pradesh, there we can expect below normal rainfall activity. So, I'll just repeat that the major part of the country will have normal to normal rainfall activity, except northeastern states, some parts of eastern India, and southwest peninsula. So here we can expect a below normal rainfall activity. Now, if I consider the month of June, June is also a month where heat wave conditions uh, usually prevail, especially over northern parts of the country. So we have the temperature forecast. If I look at the maximum temperature, what you find in this diagram, this is the maximum temperature forecast for the month of June, it indicates that most parts of the country will have the below normal uh, um, probability of the maximum temperature. That means heat wave conditions are not so likely, or the frequency of temperature conditions will be less than normal over the country during the month of June. Only the Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, and uh, Himachal Pradesh, and some parts of Uttarakhand, where you will have um, Above normal probability of temperature and also some parts of Arunachal Pradesh. So, therefore, the main heat core zone extending from Gujarat, Rajasthan to Odisha, that will have uh, the below normal maximum temperature probability. Similarly, if I just look at the minimum temperature in the month of June, that is also indicating that major part of the country will have below normal temperatures. So, it is a, and except the northwest India, you can say Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Punjab, and southern, part, northern parts of Rajasthan. And here, many parts of northeastern states where temperature will be above normal in the month of June. I will tell you in Hindi that today's Purvanman is Puri Desh in Dakshin Pashtim Mansun Rutu, June and September, Varsha Samanya, Dhrikalik Ausat, 96-104% of the population. In Matrakum Roof, Puri Desh in Mansun Rutu, Varsha Plus minus 4% ke modern protein saad, Dirgyabhati Aosat ka 103% hone ka hai. Aur 1971 se 2020 ki avadhi ke liye puri desh mein Rutinist Barsa ka LPA 87 centimeter hai. Char homogeneous region, yani Sadatiya Barsa Kshitra mein Dashin Pashim Manson Rutinist Barsa, Madhya Bharat mein LPA ka more than 106% aur Dashin Prajadip mein LPA ka more than 106% ki saad, सामान्य से अधिक होने का संभावना है उत्तर पूर्व भारत में एलपीए का 96.6% और उत्तर पश्चिम भारत में एलपीए का 90.8% के साथ बारिश सामान्य रहने का संभावना है यानी उत्तर पूर्व भारत और उत्तर पश्चिम भारत में सामान्य बारिश और दक्षिण प्रायद्वीप और मध्य भारत में सामान्य से अधिक बारिश होने का संभावना है मानसून कोर जोन पर दक्षिण पश्चिम मानसून रुतनिष्ठ वर्षा जिसमें देश की अधिकांश वर्षा आधारित कृषि क्षेत्र शामिल है सामान्य से अधिक होने का संभावना है यानी 106% से अधिक हो सकता है अभी हम सीजनल रेनफॉल मानसून की बात करें तो मानसून मौसमी वर्षा के स्थानिक रूप से अच्छी तरह से विस्तृत होने की संभावना है पूर्व मध्य पूर्व उत्तर पूर्व और चरम दक्षिण पश्चिम प्रायद्वीपीय भारत के कुछ हिस्सों को छोड़कर जहां सामान्य से कम वर्षा होने की संभावना है देश के बाकी हिस्सों में सामान्य से अधिक नहीं तो सामान्य वर्षा होने की उम्मीद है जो व्हाइट पिक्चर आपको दिखाई दे रहे वो क्लाइमेटोलॉजिकल प्रोबेबिलिटी है और जो येलो ऑरेंज दिखाई दे रहा है वो सभी बिलो नॉर्मल प्रोबेबिलिटी है और जो ब्लू डीप ब्लू और ग्रीन दिखाई दे रहे वो सामान्य और सामान्य से अधिक वर्षा होने का सूचना देता है अभी जून की बात करें जून में आ, हमारा जो पूर्वानुमान है इसमें पूरी देश में 2022 के जून के औसत वर्षा सामान्य रहने की संभावना है और 
सामान्य के अर्थ होता है कि uh, 1971 से 2020 का जो आंकड़ा है इसके पता चलता है कि जून के दौरान उत्तर पश्चिम और मध्य भारत के कई हिस्सों दक्षिण प्रायद्वीप के उत्तर हिस्सों और पूर्व भारत के कुछ हिस्सों में सामान्य या सामान्य से अधिक बारिश होने की संभावना है पूर्वोत्तर भारत के कई हिस्सों मध्य और पूर्व भारत के कुछ हिस्सों और दक्षिण प्रायद्वीप और भारत के दक्षिण हिस्सों में सामान्य से कम बारिश होने की संभावना है सो so, जैसे यहाँ आप दिखाई दे रहे हैं कि एलो और एंस एरिया जो आपको दिखाई दे रहे हैं वहां बिलो नॉर्मल प्रोबेबिलिटी की संभावना है और जहां ग्रीन ब्लू और डीप ब्लू और लाइट ब्लू एरिया आपको दिखाई दे रहे हैं वहां नॉर्मल यानी एबो नॉर्मल बारिश होने का संभावना है टेम्परेचर की बात करें तो उत्तर पश्चिम भारत के कुछ हिस्सों को छोड़कर जहां सामान्य से अधिक तापमान की संभावना है देश के अधिकांश हिस्सों में सामान्य से अधिक तापमान होने का संभावना सामान्य से सामान्य से अधिक तापमान सामान्य से नीचे रहने की संभावना है माने पूरी देश का बात करें तो सिर्फ नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया का कुछ हिस्सा जैसे जम्मू एंड कश्मीर लद्दाख और हिमाचल प्रदेश वगैरह उसमें और अरुणाचल प्रदेश कुछ हिस्सा में टेम्परेचर नॉर्मल से ज्यादा हो सकता है नहीं तो सभी जगह में टेम्परेचर बिलो नॉर्मल रहेगा और मिनिमम टेम्परेचर भी ऐसा ही है नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स और जो नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया का कुछ हिस्सा है जैसे कि दमन कश्मीर लद्दाख हिमाचल प्रदेश पंजाब नॉर्दर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ राजस्थान इसमें एबो नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर मिनिमम टेम्परेचर रहने का संभावना है सो थैंक यू वेरी मच नाउ वी कैन गो फॉर एनी कमेंट सजेशन और क्वेश्चन प्लीज सर 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 बोलगा अच्छा अच्छा जेकब जेकब मेरा वीडियो आ रहा है कि नहीं आ रहा है हेलो जेकब जेकब अभी आप प्रश्न पूछ सकते हैं अच्छा सर जेकब फ्रॉम द हिंदू टू क्वेश्चन सर वन इज यू नो यू है मैं एक्सपेक्टेड यू नो डूरिंग दिस मानसून मंथ so uh, wouldn't that uh, be unhelpful for the monsoon and can you explain why you know you have, it is increased from 99 to 103 uh, percent as of lpa so with negative iod conditions how does it work and second question sir is little more local yesterday we saw this uh, severe thunderstorm in delhi with uh, wind speeds were 100 kmph so was it i mean did i i mean did imd's doppler wave Red, whether radar act, actually picked this up well in advance, and was it? Why didn't we get a you know a, a more uh, you know uh, earlier warning regarding this? Thank you. Thank you, Gajakar Ji. I will address the first question. Yes, we have updated our forecast from 99 percent to 103 percent. It is mainly because all the favorable parameters based on our statistical models are also favoring, becoming more favorable for the uh, more rainfall activity. the dynamical models what we utilize that is monsoon mission climate forecast system mmcfs of uh, minister of sciences or jitna global model se to sabhi ka jo hum ankara dekhe hain sabhi se jo hum lekar ek multi model ensemble forecast system develop kiye hain iske zariye ye jo purvanuman hum jari kiye hain sabhi ke aadhar par ye consensus hai ki rainfall normal rahega magar 99 nahi 99 se upar raha sakta hai isliye hum isko अपडेट किए हैं हंड्रेड थ्री परसेंट जब तक लास्टल फीचर्स की बात किया जाए ये लानिना कंडीशन जैसे आप बात करें होंगे पहले जो मॉडल्स तरह दिखा रहा था कि मिडिल ऑफ अगस्त और यू कैन से मिडिल ऑफ द मानसून सीजन तक लानिना कंडीशन रह सकता है इसके बाद इनसो न्यूट्रल कंडीशन आ सकता है मगर अभी जो लेटेस्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन सभी मॉडल से आ रहे हैं कि लानिना कंडीशन कंटिन्यू कर सकता है थ्रू आउट द मानसून सीजन और नेगेटिव बायोडी का बात करें ये सर्टेनली नेगेटिव बायोडी इंडियन ओशन डाइपोल जो नेगेटिव होता है तो ये एक बाधक सस्ता है और इसीलिए ज्यादा एक्सेस नहीं होते हुए इस नॉर्मल रेंज के अंदर हमारा फोरकास्ट जा रहा है और कल की जो थंडस्टर्म की बात किया जाए तो थंडस्टर्म जो कल हुआ है इसका पूर्वानुमान दिया गया था आप देखेंगे कल का बुलेटिन आप देखेंगे तो हम पूर्वानुमान किए थे कि ये नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया में जैसे स्टार्टिंग विद पंजाब हरियाणा चंडीगढ़ डेली वेस्ट यूपी सभी जगह में हम थंडस्टर्म का अर्ली वार्निंग दिए थे 
और रडर की बात करें सभी रडर काम कर रहा था और रडर के हिसाब से थर्टी पर हम नवकास्ट इशू किए थे कि कम से कम होगा फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी किलोमीटर स्पीड स्पीड भी पहुंच सकता है और कंटिन्यूसली इसके बाद अपडेट दिया जा रहा था और सभी मीडिया ग्रुप के साथ साथ सभी को व्हाट्सएप में भी मैसेज दिया गया है so only 2 hours in advance it was possible to uh, uh, yeah thunderstorm is a mesh scale event thunderstorm hailstorm lightning isko paanch din pehle purvanuman karna mushkil hai duniya bhar mein sirf india mein nahi kahan aise nahi hota hai isliye naav ka sabse bada hathiyar boliye ki tool boliye hota hai jisme aap 2 ghanta 3 ghanta pehle aap bata sakte hain ki aise ek sambhavna hai और इसका जो पोटेंशियल एरिया है वो पोटेंशियल एरिया हम आइडेंटिफाई किए थे सुबह जो प्रकाश दिए थे इसमें आइडेंटिफाई किया गया था कि एक एरिया है जिस एरिया में आपका थंडरस्टॉम ऐसे हो सकता है थैंक यू बोलिए अनुप जी जी सर सर एक तो हम ये जानना चाह रहे थे कि मानसून अब आगे बढ़ रहा है धीरे धीरे तो देश के बाकी हिस्सों में पर्टिकुलरली सेंट्रल इंडिया और नॉर्थ वेस्ट तक मतलब पंजाब दिल्ली यूपी राजस्थान एमपी छत्तीसगढ़ थैंक यू वेरी मच आपसे बताया कि कैसी बारिश रहेगी जून में और टेम्परेचर भी लेकिन हम जानना चाह रहे थे कि अगर हम इन्हीं राज्यों में राज्यवार अगर आप बता पाए कि कैसी बारिश रहेगी जून में जो पूरा इंडिया का मैप दिखा दिया अनुरुद्ध जी हम जो पूरा इंडिया का मैप दिखाई दिया इसमें इंडिया का मैप में पूरे राज्य भी दिखाई दे रहा है कौन सा राज्य में कैसे बारिश रहेगा वो भी दिखाई दे रहा है ठीक है ना सो so, इसमें हम प्रोबेबिलिटी जो हमें बता रहे हैं कुछ राज्य में कैसे बारिश रहेगा कहाँ आई बोट रेनफॉल होगा कहाँ बिलो नॉर्मल रेनफॉल होगा कहाँ नॉर्मल रेनफॉल रहेगा और ये हम जो देखे हैं जो जैसे महीना मे महीना का प्रकाश दिखाया पहले भी हर महीने हम आपको प्रकाश का ब्रिटिश में दिखा रहे हैं लार्ज एक्सटेंड जो मंथली प्रोकास्ट जो सिग्नल प्रोकास्ट जा रहे हैं वो अच्छा से प्रेडिक्ट हो रहा है ये मल्टी मॉडल एनसेम्बल प्रोकास्ट स्कीम के साथ और जब मानसून एडवांस की बात करें मानसून एडवांस के लिए हम अगले पांच दिन में कितना एडवांस होगा इसका पूर्वानुमान देते हैं और अभी हम सिर्फ केरला को छोड़ के दूसरा जगह में ऐसे पंद्रह दिन बीस दिन का प्रोकास्ट नहीं देते हैं अभी जो सेंट्रल इंडिया का बात करें सेंट्रल इंडिया में लगभग 10 तारीख से 15 तारीख के अंदर सेंट्रल इंडिया के पास मानसून पहुंचता है और ये बहुत दूर है अभी हम नेक्स्ट फाइव डेज के जो फोरकास्ट दिए फोरकास्ट के हिसाब से और यहाँ कौन सौन आगे बढ़ सकता है अपने माइक्रोफोन करें माइक्रोफोन म्यूट करें प्लीज थैंक यू कैन यू गिव मी सर रेखा फ्रॉम द वीक रेखा जी Yes. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, this year again, you have said that there are chances of below normal rain in um, the northeast. Now, this has been uh, a phenomenon for the last uh, uh, at least four or five years. In fact, one of your papers on monsoon had also noted that you know the changing patterns of monsoon distribution across the country and showed that northeast is getting lesser rain than it was getting earlier. Uh, could you explain what is leading to this? Uh, is it weather change? Is it climate change? Or it is just like changing weather phenomenon or, or deforestation or what exactly is it? नहीं जो ट्रेंड है नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स में तो रेनफॉल डिक्रीज हो रहा है आप देखिए सेक्टोरल पार्टिसिपेशन बढ़ रहा है और कल एक ही सेक्टर सुस्त था वो थे मेटल्स और आज मेटल्स में बढ़िया एक्शन बन रहा है जय सुबह हम जेएसडब्ल्यू स्टील टाटा स्टील की बात कर रहे थे अच्छा आया जय जरा वेदांता के चार्ट देखिए और अब यहाँ से क्या करना है वेदांता में जी बिजनेस May I request all of you please switch off your mic. If I give a light, then if you don't mind, then I will recommend you to get it. Okay, sir. Sir, here from the G business, close it. Sir, if you don't mind, then you can show them. Sir, please close it. 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 Certainly, there is a trend that uh, uh, rainfall over North East states are showing a decreasing trend. But this part, the forecast man, who you will see, the seasonal rainfall, the forecast man, this is about 
तो जो आसाम है अरुणाचल प्रदेश है नागालैंड है ये सभी एरिया में हम ग्रीन या ब्लू सर योर योर वॉल्यूम इज रिड्यूस सर नॉट ऑडिबल डीजेम सर या 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 लिटिल मोर क्वाइट लो वॉइस इज क्वाइट लो देन अर्लियर अभी कैसे आ रहा है यस सर इट इज ओके नाउ बेटर ओके सो मैं ही बोलना चाहता हूं कि नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स का जो रेनफॉल का ट्रेंड है वो दिखाते हैं कि देयर इज अ डिक्रीजिंग ट्रेंड इन रिसेंट इयर्स बट हाउएवर इट डजंट मीन दैट एवरी ईयर देयर विल डिक्रीज एंड दिस ईयर व्हाट आवर फोरकास्ट वे वी शुड द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट स्टेट्स लाइक असम अरुणाचल प्रदेश नागालैंड इस सभी एरिया में वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग नॉर्मल टू एवो नॉर्मल रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी southern parts of northern states like uh, mizoram tripura or uh, manipur waha zyada possibility hai ki rainfall normal se kam ho sakta hai yeah it needs study what are the processes which is leading to the decreasing trend in rainfall activity and uh, but it is a finding from the long term data analysis by imd that there is a detection it is detected that there is a decreasing trend of rainfall over north eastern states the attribution to causes needs the special analysis uh, sir, uh, sir this is minakshi uh, yes please minak so, madam yeah. wanted to ask the normal rainfall uh, has also been reduced from 868.6 mm to 880.6 so is this indication that the rainfall activity overall as in the entire country is discrete decreasing so this point i addressed uh, during the first stage uh, of uh, monsoon forecast when we also introduced the new normal the new normal based on data of 1971 to 2020 uh, leads to the new figure that is 868.6 or you can say it is 87 cm earlier best normal of 1961 to 2010 it was about 88 cm so there is a decrease of about 1 cm rainfall for the country the whole if i compare the normal rainfall of 1961 to 2010 with 1971 to 2020 but i also explained at that time that the decadal behavior of the monsoon rainfall if we analyze what we find that there is a epochal behavior epochal behavior means there will be certain decades consecutively where you can expect above normal rainfall it will followed by certain decades like 3 to 4 decades here it will be below normal rainfall and since 1970 onwards we are passing through a below normal period and that below normal period led to the slight decrease in normal rainfall slight it is centimeter to eight centimeter but the good thing is that we are now moving out of that below normal epoch it is almost nearing if you just compare this past two decades you will find that it is nearing towards normal and we are predicting that by 21 to 30 it will be near normal and 31 to 40 decades it will be above normal then collectively good afternoon this is anjali from the indian express so me gets more activated if you have some kind of offshore vortex that means formation of a low pressure system or cyclonic circulation and sometimes also you get cyclones during onset phase of monsoon which leads to excess rainfall activity over the west coast states uh, like kerala coastal karnataka konkan and goa so 
the rainfall pattern itself and the latest analysis of two say next 15 days indicates that there is no such probability of development of any low pressure systems as an observer takes uh, near the west coast of india that could be the one of the most important reason why we are not getting good rainfall we are not expecting good rainfall activity over the um, the extreme south peninsula during month of june another feature is that um, if there will be a low pressure system over northwest bay of bengal near odisha coast that will also lead to increase in rainfall activity over kerala coast because because of the formation of low pressure system the cross equator westerly is strengthened and because of the interaction with the westerly with the orography due to western ghats then falling ages perhaps it could be uh, associated with the absence of the low pressure systems as an offshore vortex or as a low pressure systems over head bay of bengal correct thank you sir but however if we look at our uh, extended range forecast you will find that after two weeks that is towards the second half of june rainfall activity is increasing we can also expect some development we have to wait for that so uh, okay. jay shri from hindustan times okay. i wanted to ask for the uh, the reason you have increased the forecast um, the quantum of rainfall from 99% to 103% is it mainly because of la nina conditions continuing through monsoon could you explain that sir please Yeah, that's what I already explained. That La Nina conditions is expected to continue throughout the monsoon season. Uh, that is uh, the number one. And number two is that nowadays we are dependent upon the dynamical uh, forecasting system, where there are many dynamics within the ocean atmosphere and earth system which may not be visible to the naked eye or human eye or day-to-day -day analysis. And perhaps that could be picked up. And what we found that uh, this MME system has picked up very well. The reason I believe the special distribution of rainfall. So main dynamical classical feature, if you tell me, that is the La Nina condition series setting. But uh, other statistical uh, parameters which are utilized in the statistical uh, prediction system that are also favorable. For example, the temperature, sea surface temperature over North Atlantic, or you can consider the temperature over the equatorial Pacific. or if you consider the northern hemispheric surface air temperatures or if you consider the uh, mean cellular pressure over the pacific all these are favorable for increased and collectivity therefore the number has been changed the number of parameters um, uh, in april forecast if i compare with the number of parameters in this forecast the number of parameters are becoming more favorable in this updated forecast uh, all of sir thank you Uh, you are muted sir your mic is mute sir sir your mic is mute can you hear me now uh, yes now it is clear uh, thanks a lot uh, dr mahapatra for giving us some good news that the monsoon may be normal i i had a more general question if you were to increase the accuracy of your monsoon forecasting what more would you want from the government do you want more satellites do you want more sea surface buoys what more do you want sir suppose we were to give more accurate forecast or do you want an extension of the monsoon mission yeah certainly uh, thank you uh, very much palav ji so certainly there has been a good progress with the help of the monsoon mission we have come up with uh, the dynamical coupled forecast system as you correctly told that uh, monsoon basically depends upon uh, many features uh, in globally and also regionally and locally as far as the short to medium range forecast is concerned there is a significant improvement in predicting the heavy rainfall and associated weather during monsoon season but still there is scope to improve and there for that purpose we need enhancement of observational systems regionally that is over the bay of bengal arabian sea and indian land mass and uh, certain parts of the indian ocean also but when you consider the long range forecast the long range forecast depends upon the uh, the large scale parameters governing from different parts of the globe especially over the pacific and atlantic and also over the other regions so globally the number of observations are increasing and we perhaps cannot afford to increase the global observations so we can afford to increase the observations uh, through satellite yes certainly the satellite augmentation with uh, more um, uh, calibrated um, accurate informations which can go directly to the 
modeling system can help to assimilate correctly the worsening processes, which is the data sparsity here. Basically, if we just look at these are the uh, worsening features, which are the more memory, and hence helps in providing the long lead period in the forecast of the system. So towards that, Minister Parsons is working in that directions, and monsoon mission phase three is also being uh, taken up, and high performance computing system is also being uh, taken up, where you can assimilate more data, process data, and process study will also be carried out. Uh, specific special study will be carried out uh, in a dedicated place like Bhopal in the central India, which is the monsoon core zone. Uh, certainly, we are addressing that, and there is need to augment, as you told, the observational systems, mainly through the remote and satellites, and in situ observations through buoys and ships, whatever possible. There is need to augment the high performance computing system. There is need to augment our observational systems in terms of the coupled forecasting systems, a forecasting system comes coupled forecasting system. And I hope um, certainly there is scope to improve the long range forecast. Can I ask a follow up question, sir? Yes, please. So the delay in the ocean sat has it affected your forecasting uh, prognosis? Uh, no, uh, as such, because. Um, uh, Basically, in ocean set, uh, we will be uh, depending upon the winds and uh, uh, to some extent the observations. But we, what we do actually globally, we utilize all types of polar orbiting satellites and geostationary satellites available throughout the globe. There is a consortium and there is free exchange of data. All data goes through that and uh, that are being utilized. I don't think that um, it has affected. Um, in prediction of uh, the monsoon seasonal forecast because of the delay in ocean set. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, Mayuraj Mulrao. Yeah, Mayuraj Ji. Yeah. अभी एक साल हुआ आपका मंथली जो forecast आप दे रहे हैं उसमें, तो उसका evaluation किया गया है कितना success rate है उसके बारे में? Yeah, quantitative evaluation we are doing. I think uh, sometimes I will show the quantitative evaluation, but uh, certainly every month I am projecting you the actual and forecast. और ये जो अभी बात चल रही है कि मॉनसून का बहुत लोग अभी कह रहे हैं कि केरल में मॉनसून आ जाए है कई लोगों ने बताया कि अभी तक आया ही नहीं तो इसके बारे में बहुत सारी न्यूज़ भी आई है तो उस पर आपका क्या कहना है? नहीं हम तो प्रेस रिलीज जारी किए हैं आप कल का प्रेस रिलीज देख लीजिए परसों का इसमें हम डिटेल्स दिए हैं क्या क्या कंडीशन से हो क्या क्या कंडीशन सेटिस्फाइड हुए हैं देर वॉज फेर यू एक्सपोडेंटफुल एक्टिविटी बिफोर द एडवांस ऑफ मॉनसून ओवर केरला ऑन द डे वेन एडवांस मॉनसून ऑफकर देर वॉज मोर देन सेवेंटी परसेंट स्टेशन रिपोर्टेड रेनफॉल टू स्टेशन रिपोर्टेड वेरी हेवी रेनफॉल आउट ऑफ दैट फोर्टीन स्टेशन सो देर वॉज वाइड स्प्रेड रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी The monsoon is not measured only by the rainfall; it is also measured by the depth of westerly winds, the cross equatorial winds. The cross equatorial winds were extending up to a height of 4.5 to 5 kilometers above the mean sea level, and uh, so the wind speed at a height of about one kilometer was about um, uh, 15 to 20 nautical miles per hour. That means 25 to 35 kilometers per hour. And outgoing long wave radiation, which is a measure of the cloudiness, that was also less than 200 watt per meter square. When it is less than 200 watt per meter square, that indicates there are convective clouds. You can look at the satellite picture also. You can find out the convective clouds, and you can see that how the rainfall is progressing. So today we have taken up of Tokyo matter and uh, northern parts of Tamil Nadu because the rainfall has progressed. So therefore, uh, we follow a scientific basis, and based on the scientific basis, monsoon advance and onset are declared. Thank you, sir. सर माय सेल्फ शिवम कुमार सर मैं ये जानना चाहता हूँ कि आपके मैप में जो दिखाया है कि असम अरुणाचल और सिक्किम में एक नॉर्मल रेनफॉल होगा और लेकिन मेघालय में डेफिशिएंट दिखाया सर जबकि सब जगह ब्रेक कंडीशन से एक साथ अच्छी रेन होती है वहाँ पे जी आपने जो बोला है वो सही बात बताया कि हम जो जी आज जो फोरकास्ट जारी किए हैं इसमें सिक्किम साउथ वेस्ट बंगाल अरुणाचल प्रदेश और असम में नॉर्मल से वो नॉर्मल रेनफॉल हो सकता है और मेघालय में डेफिशिएंट रेनफॉल हो सकता है ओके 
So any other comments or questions? All of you, do you have any other question? Your raise your uh, hand. One more question, Jacob. Okay. Okay. So Jacob, I have one more question. Uh, uh, yes, please, Jacob. Please. If every, I mean, if your forecast comes right, I think this will be four consecutive years of normal or above normal rainfall. Now, is that uh, isn't that kind of unprecedented in IMDs uh, at least for a, for a really long time? Is it uh, is it an unusual kind of system? And secondly, it, all other years we've also recent years we've been seeing heavy rainfall in September. September makes up a lot of deficit, you know, in previous months. So. Is something like that also expected uh, this year? Thank you. Yeah. So thank you, uh, Zakabji. Actually, uh, for the month of September, we cannot predict now. We have to wait, and by the end of August, we will predict the rainfall for September. And uh, yes, as you told, that for last two years, we have seen that uh, month of September gets a lot of rainfall, and whatever deficiency there, that gets uh, covered up by the rainfall in September. There is a part of that is a part of the uh, temporal variability, or you can say the intra-seasonal variability. It varies from um, month to month and within the season itself, leading to dry spells and wet spells. And um, the first question was about um, four consecutive years of normal. Four and consecutive years. Yes. As I was telling, that decadal variability of the monsoon rainfall, if you just look at the um, uh, below normal decadal epoch, is almost going to end. And there is um, some kind of uh, emergence towards the normal behavior during the running decade and the next decade it will move to the above normal uh, rainfall. So therefore, there is a tendency now that we can have uh, the normal or above normal rainfall year uh, sometimes consecutively when you are moving towards the normal epoch or the above normal epoch. But that is just my qualitative analysis. I cannot tell you correctly the why it is consecutively four years. Uh, uh, sir, this is Sandeep Das from Financial Express. Uh, yes, please. Uh, can you be, uh, now that long period average has been uh, re recalibrated or whatever? But what is the percentage? Can you give us like June will be how much percent of total rainfall? Because that has to also again rework essentially. June, July, August, September. Roughly, what will be the percentage wise rainfall of a monsoon? See, earlier scheme when we were introducing that the time we gave a percentage, but from last year onwards we have stopped giving that percentage for the monthly figure. We are giving only three categories, whether it will be normal, whether it will be above normal, or whether it will be below normal. And this year we are telling that it will be normal for June. And when I say normal, it is 92% uh, to 108% of the long period average. And long period average is 165 millimeters. My question is quantum of rain. That's what I told you. The quantum of rain will be between 92% to 108% of the long period average. A long period average value is 165 millimeter. So you can calculate or we can calculate and tell you. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, this is Bapas Sir, I have a question. Like the way we are giving the forca forecast for month of June, uh, can it be given for the, uh, the 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 next few months? Like what would what would be the uh, uh, rainfall in July, August, and September? The reason being I'm asking is uh, when we saw uh, like the the crops are like whenever there is a uh, crop maturity and if there is a heavy rainfall, so farmers can't actually uh, uh, predict that thing. So if you give us that uh, forecast, it would be really good. Uh, they can plan accordingly. Yeah, thank you, um, Mapaji. So your point is genuine. We also understand that we are trying that, but at present uh, that type of accuracy is not there. If I tell you now the rainfall for the month of July, August, and September, it may not be accurate, and it may misguide. So therefore, the, so unless otherwise it is a reasonably accurate forecast, I think uh, we should not uh, give. So they were trying that, and um, your suggestion is well taken. We will try. Perhaps time will come within two to three years. I'm not sure when we will bring off the forecast for July, August, September while issuing for the second stage forecast. Let us hope. Uh, yes, madam. So, after the first slide has summary of forecast, there's a uh, uh, this distinction about the four seasonal 
homogeneous region where you have said normal over northeast india and northwest india but the percentage that you have given for northeast india is 96 to 106 and northwest it is 92 to 108 can you explain what is the difference between that the normal is calculated based on the um, long period average uh, data of the particular homogeneous region so if you just look at uh, as you told north east india normally is 94 to 106 and north west india is 92 to 108 that means that um, the north east india rainfall is less variable and north west india rainfall is more variable that means year to year if you compare the interannual variation of rainfall for north west india is high and north east india is less therefore the variation is uh, only 6% in case of uh, north east india whereas it is um, 8% in case of north west india that all of us know that uh, in the region where you got higher rainfall consistent rainfall your variation will be less and north east india gets higher rainfall and consistently so therefore variation is less 6% as compared to 8% for north west india okay sir thank you thank you hello हेलो सर यस सर ये पूछ रहा था जैसे हमारे नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया में इस बार मार्च में अप्रैल में मई में थोड़ी अब जाके बारिश हुई है प्री मॉनसून एक्टिविटी बिल्कुल भी नहीं हुई मार्च में देखने में एक बूंद नहीं पड़ी अप्रैल में आज से तीन साल पहले चार साल पहले अच्छी बारिश होती थी इसका मॉनसून पे कोई इफेक्ट आएगा कम का या ज्यादा का सर मॉनसून पे एक लार्ज स्केल सर्कुलेशन है इसको प्राकृतिक सर्कुलेशन आप बोल सकते हैं जापान से शुरू करके अमेरिका तक मॉनसून सर्कुलेशन डेवलप होता है और इसलिए मानसून सर्कुलेशन बहुत सारे लार्ज स्केल पैटर्न के ऊपर डिपेंडेंट होता है और इसके साथ साथ रीजनल स्केल पैटर्न जैसे यूरोपियन यूरो एशियन स्नो कवर और टेम्परेचर फॉर पेसिफिक ओवर के ऊपर भी डिपेंडेंट होता है सर्टेनली पीपल इन द इनिशियल स्टेज एस्यूम दैट मॉनसून इज अ लार्ज सी ब्रेक्स दैट मीन्स ज्यादा आपका हीटिंग होगा नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया और हिमालयन के ऊपर ज्यादा हीटिंग होगा तो आपका मानसून स्वतंत्र तो होगा सर्टनली यूरो एशियन स्नो कवर के साथ दर इज ए इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप अगर ऐसे कोई वन टू वन रिलेशनशिप नहीं है कि आपका टेम्परेचर मार्च अप्रैल में ज्यादा होने से नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया में आपका रेनफॉल ज्यादा होगा और फिर भी जो प्रेडिक्शन है इस बार ये प्रेडिक्शन के हिसाब से साउथ ईस्ट मॉनसून रेनफॉल जो है नॉर्मल रहने का उम्मीद किया जा रहा है और जून महीना में भी लगभग मेनी प्लेसेस में नॉर्मल रेनफॉल हो सकता है नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया में ओके थैंक सर थैंक ओके सर अनिरुद्ध बोल रहा हूँ एक बार फिर सर छोटा सा ये अनिल जी सर ये जो इस बार लगातार चौथा साल है नॉर्मल और अब अब नॉर्मल बारिश का आ, हम इसमें ये जानना चाह रहे थे कि इससे पहले कितनी बार का ऐसा रिकॉर्ड है चार साल या उससे ज्यादा साल बार लगातार नॉर्मल या अब नॉर्मल बारिश हुई जो आपके पास रिकॉर्ड हो नाइनटीन हंड्रेड वन रेडीमेड स्टैटिस्टिक्स मेरे पास नहीं है मैं अभी हमारे कलेग अवेलेबल है डॉक्टर श्रीजीत एंड जनामणि दे विल फाइंड आउट द स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड दे विल पुट ऑफ इन द मीडिया ग्रुप थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर दिस इज अंजलि अगेन फ्रॉम द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस इट्स नॉट अबाउट द मॉनसून बट डू यू हैव एन ओवरऑल एनालिसिस ऑफ हाउ द प्री मॉनसून सीजन एंड द समर्स हैव बीन सिंस मार्च एज द सीजन एंड्स टुडे मे 31st एनी ओवरऑल एनालिसिस दैट आई एम वी वुड have and would be releasing yeah i have today i have shown you the month of uh, may and we will uh, every month we are publishing a monthly report and that will also published uh, for the month of may and also a seasonal report will bring out okay. within two to three days we will bring out this report yes thank you i think uh, i must thank all of you and express my gratitude to all my impression recruit media friends um, Uh, for their cooperation and support for uh, providing all these continuous services 
without you we cannot uh, reach out to the last mile without you we cannot reach out to the last managers so therefore the special thanks to all of you we'll meet again by end of june uh, to provide you the forecast for july thank you very much thank you.